How did you guys end up in tennis in the first place? Um, so I played in middle school in gym class and I was like, oh, this is fun. I'm going to play tennis in high school. And that's what happened. <laughs> Well, I did enjoy playing tennis in middle school. The main reason is I wanted a sport that I didn't have to run a lot, and I wanted to wear skirts. So. Did you end up having to run a lot, though? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we don't have skirts this year. Yeah, we have skirts this year. <laughs> so it kind of backfired. Yeah. A little bit. Is there a point in the season that you guys look forward to, or something that really good that happened that you guys enjoyed? Our f once we get to our first match, that's really exciting because practices become more about playing tennis and less about conditioning and mm -hmm. staying in shape. I agree with matches starting because then we get to work on and what we need and then like the competitive side is there. It's yeah. actually go time mm -hmm. Yeah. play the game. All right, guys. When it comes to coaching, do you have to conform to your co coach's way of teaching or does he conform to your way of learning? I feel like... It's both. Um, he teaches kind of the way that he would do it, but then he also lets us put our own little style into it. Um, also, I feel like boys tennis and girls tennis is there's a different style too, mm -hmm. um, and so he lets us do more of what we would normally do. Most of the practice we do like the same basic things like at the beginning, but then like after matches and stuff, he sees what we need to work on and like does that and like helps us, gives us pointers. Alright, last question guys. If you could build the perfect tennis player, what would that person have to be like? Probably like fast, um, just so you can get to the ball. Also, I don't know. Really good attitude because yeah. it's mental. It's a huge, the huge, the biggest part of the game is your mental attitude. If you if you're playing a game and you're losing and you're just completely like hating on yourself, you're going to lose the match. You have to, it's so, uh, it's so much about your mental attitude. Mm -hmm. So I mean, just tries really hard because a lot of it like is when it's mental and like mm -hmm. you start giving up or like you're back a few games. You have to persevere through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Thank you very much guys for your time. Okay, how did you guys end up in tennis in the first place? Well, I knew like from last year that I wanted to play tennis just because I knew Jesse beforehand and like he kind of influenced me to play and some of my friends were on the team, so that's why I wanted to play. Yeah, our coach was my 8th grade social studies teacher, so he encouraged me to play too. Frida? Uh, I just wanted to do a sport and I was like trying track and softball and I like tennis best, so. Alright. Is there a point in the season that you guys are looking most forward to, or is there a point that has already happened that was your favorite? I think the first win is the biggest like, turning point in the season because it's like really encouraging to keep going. You ready, Mary? Yeah. All right. When it comes to coaching, do you have to conform to your coach's way of teaching, or does your coach conform to how you learn? I think that we have to conform to his way of coaching just because like, we all have different ways that like, we think that we should practice, but we have to do it what he thinks we should do. Is there ever a barrier with that, you think? I don't think so. I think it's kind of a mixture. Like, If he knows that Al and I learn different or me and Frida learn different, then he's going to like try to help us however he can, but we're also going to like try to learn from however he teaches. If you guys could build the perfect tennis player, what would that person have? Like, what qualities would that person have? What would they What would they need in order to be a great tennis player? Mm, probably just like mental toughness, because it comes a lot of it comes down to like mental strength and like keeping your head in the game. Frida, any takes on this? Is different than Norway? Um. Sport, being in sports in general, or? Are sports stressed more in America than they are in Norway? I don't know, really. <laughs> Jeez, Frida. <laughs> Come on. Let's Wait, I don't understand the question. Like, all right. Do you have more stress in Norway on sports? Yeah. Or, so there are more sports or in Norway than here? Uh, I play handball, mm -hmm. and I play it like, at school, and I play handball all the time. But tennis I do just more because... I want to do something. 
So do you guys have like an overarching goal for this season? Or, like, do you, or do you like personally come up with a goal or does your team have a certain? Mm, mine would just be to just like improve because this is my first year and I just want to see like how far I can go. Yeah. I think as a team we have like certain teams that beat us last year and so our goal is just to like beat teams that like we're not expected to. Be better than last yeah. year. Yeah. Frida? Just stay Learn on the, the game. <laughs> Learn the game. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Yeah. How did you guys end up in tennis in the first place? I started because I played soccer with Shaylee, and she was my friend, and she told me to start playing, and that's pretty much how it got started. I got involved because I believe that tennis is a great group of girls to work with, and they... <laughs> Um, I really enjoy the coach, and I think that I liked everyone. <laughs> um, I play, We played in middle school gym, and I thought it was really fun. And a lot of people I knew were going into the sport, and it just seemed like a fun thing to do. Is there a point in the season that you are looking forward to the most, or is there something that already happened that you just it kind of stands out in your memory? Usually around the first match, just because honestly the running kind of tones down, and I don't know, like that first match is just always really fun. I think I look forward to the middle of the season because that's when it starts to get harder and actually play tennis. Play tennis, yeah. yeah. I look forward to each match just because I really like being out there and playing against the other other people in other schools. All right, guys. When it comes to being coached, does your coach have to conform to how? you learn or do you have to conform to how he teaches? How does that ba balance work? The other girl said a bit of both. Well, tennis is practically mostly a mental sport, so it's how you play and how you best play. Um, he teaches us technique and stuff that we can think about before we play the match, like what their weaknesses are and stuff like that. But yeah, tennis is a mental sport. I feel like it's definitely a little bit of both. Like, you know, he'll teach you the basics, like high to low and stuff like that. But like she said, it is a, a mental sport. And a lot of this stuff you can't really teach. Mm -hmm. Like when you're out there in a match, it's not just hitting a tennis ball. Like you actually have to like have the mental stability to do it. So you kind of figure things out yourself? Yeah. Do you agree, Rosie? Yeah. Last question, guys. If you could kind of build a prototype of the perfect tennis player, what would that person have to have? Consistency. A person that can mentally play the game and be very consistent on all their shots and placement. They can't get caught up in just losing one point because a lot of tennis players, if they'll lose one point, it'll just ruin their whole entire match. And like, like Shaylee said, consistency, constantly just going at it and getting back over the net and getting back over the net. They have to be able to see, see the court and see where the other person is so that so that they can place it correctly and not just keep hitting it to that person, make the other person run. Right, kind of have that all awareness and constant dedication. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much for your time, guys. How did you guys end up in tennis in the first place? Firstly, I ended up because I played it when I was younger and I did discover it was a pretty fun sport and I've never really gotten myself into a sport so I figured it was a good one to get into and it is, it's worth it because it's fun. <laughs> um, I started, my grandma took me to Warsaw for a couple of months. I started playing there and it just like built up to coming to high school and starting playing in high school and seeing how I liked it. So it's a pretty natural transition yeah. into that. Alright guys, is there a point in the season that you're looking most forward to or is there a point that has already happened that you guys really enjoyed? Um, I think my favorite point would be when you see yourself getting better and you see yourself beating those opponents you wouldn't think you would have beaten and you just make a lot of changes in your game and start to understand start to understand like the techniques and everything a little bit more. To actually see that improvement happening. Yeah. All that work that you put in, you actually see what happens after that. Yeah. I like playing all the matches and um, like playing people in practice. I feel like the middle of the season I'm looking forward to the most because it's like where we get to play more and not have all the conditioning and running. <laughs> okay, when it comes to coaching, 
and do you have to conform to your coach's teaching style, or does your coach change the way that he teaches according to what player he's actually talking to? In a way, it's both. You have to like get yourself to where you know you'll need to be, and he'll help you with that. He'll tell you like he'll watch you and he'll notice some of your things you're better at or weaker at, and he'll like point them out. But then he also teaches all the basic things that everyone needs to know and like learn. Yeah, I think he helps everyone with um, like the technique of actually playing tennis and then um, depending on who you are, like if you learn better by like him yelling at you or just like, you know, talking yeah. kindly, then that's what he'll kind of do. Um, I agree with Abby. I think it depends. He teaches like the simple stuff and then if you're uh, okay with that, he'll, that'll depend what he like says next. Mm -hmm. Last question, guys. If you could build the perfect tennis player, what would that person have to be like? Um, a lot of consistent shots, a little bit of power, but it's not necessary. And you want that physical ability because honestly, tennis matches can go on forever. I know, I think the longest one is 11 hours, so you definitely, I mean, they played it over several days, but you still really want that physical ability. Right. I uh, like, you want to be able to, he always hit it back, so not necessarily being able to hit the powerful shots, but be able to return the powerful shots. I think consistency would be a good part in it. Thank you very much, guys, for your time. Thank you. How did you end up in tennis in the first place? I'll go first. Um, well, so last year I forgot to turn in PE waivers, <laughs> and I really needed another sport to do, and I didn't want to do swimming this year. And I was like, oh, tennis is really cool. It seems really similar to golf. And then I really needed another sport or else I had to take gym and I'm not taking gym. So I signed up for tennis. Um, well, last year my mom told me that she's always wanted a tennis player. So I went out and tried out for tennis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom too. My mom was like captain of her high school tennis team. So that was like a big deal to her. And so she was like, Shelby, you should go play tennis. So I did. You're like, okay, right mom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is there a point in the season that you are looking forward to specifically? Or has there been a point that's already happened that, that was really like stands out in your mind? Yeah. Well, I've never played before, so I don't think there's anything that I can look forward to. But I just really enjoy like the team bonding and like sitting outside waiting to play on our match days because you really bond with everyone. You guys are all laughing and telling stories, and then like I don't know, I just really enjoy that aspect of it. I really enjoy the part where we get to practice and we don't have to run anymore. We just practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, there's this big tournament we have, um, I think it's this weekend and it's in Plymouth and it's really cool because there's like a lot of girls there and like people from like teams that we don't even get to see and like I think Plymouth hosts it so Plymouth is like really good so it's fun to like play different people. Okay, when it comes to coaching, do you have to conform to your coach's way of teaching or does he conform to how you guys learn? I think that he we do a good job of doing both. Like I think that he at least for me, he will leave me alone and let me figure it out for myself, but like when I need his help, he'll come over and help me and be like this is how I would do it. And then like I can choose. I feel like he lets me choose like how to incorporate that into my own swing, like how he would do it. So it's kind of a give and take. Yeah, I agree with that. I also agree with that, yeah. Yep. All right, last question, guys. If you could build the perfect tennis player, what types of qualities would this person have to have? A fantastic grunt. No. No. No, she needs to no. no. Silent. Silent, yes. Yeah, but you should also have, like, insane endurance. Like, yeah. And a really good attitude. Yeah, tennis very good is, like, serve. yeah, tennis is, like, 100% meant, like, so much mental like if you get mad your match is over like you're losing so like you just you got need to be someone that ball. has like a lot of like passion for tennis but is also not going to get worked up and lose their matches because and of that really good at running yeah <laughs> fast because if you're slow then you can't you can't get to the ball and it's like different <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well thank you very much for your time you're welcome you're welcome Ness. Ness.